So during the wedding of my daughter, a presentation was made with a dummy, dummy check. A huge one with a huge amount of money. One million U.S. dollars. <laughs> and it was presented by my daughter's friends in a group called Second Generation, popularly known as 2G. The Second Generation are a, young, a, a group of youth, uh, young professionals. Uh, they've just finished school. They've just started working. And uh, they belong to the Second Generation, the 2G uh, group of women who are under Royal Ladies Ministry here in Royal House Chapel. They presented the, the dummy check of one million dollars to their own, their friend. I think during the presentation, I had even gone home because I was tired. Uh, these young people, if you follow them, you could, you could break down. Unfortunately, some people did not catch the idea of the presentation. They thought it was real, 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 real uh, money that was presented. And then quickly, they, uh, they turn the, the headlines. Sam Kranchankra gives to uh, his daughter, uh, who got wedded, one million U.S. dollars. And the thing went, boom, viral. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thank God that they are prophesying that one day hey. I'll give to my children <laughs> millions of dollars. Yeah. I bless God. Yeah. Shall, let's give God. Sometimes when you hear people saying these things, uh, you need to have information and you need to know what to say and you need to answer them uh, because here there is transparency and there's nothing we hide. So the check was a faith check, not real check. Faith. F-A-I-T-H. These young people are saying one day they believe God that on occasions like this, they will be able to present a check of one million US dollars. That's the statement that they are making. So as I stand here right now, I am being very careful how to choose my words because number one, I do not, as a father and as a prophet, I do not want to cancel the faith the zeal, the enthusiasm of those young people to say that they were joking or it was for fun. If you, if you notice, I've never used the word fun. I've never used the word fake. I've never used the word joke. Because what they may be joking about, what you think is fun today, will become a reality tomorrow. Yeah. Can I hear somebody give me a shout of an amen?